and well I'm back on this thing the thing that we all love the thing we will cherish it's Call of Duty haha <laughs> um, so yeah I'm I'm gonna do some more commentaries obviously coming up like I said in that Halo vid if you watched one with the battle rifle streak some more Call of Duty com videos are coming you know because the exams are all basically over so I guess it's time to have some fun you know I'm gonna try and post at least like three videos a week you know with some variety well, have like one Call of Duty video or have one I have one Call of Duty video, I have one like maybe Smash Brothers or have and then have a Battle Free Only Run video. So look forward to that, you know? Look forward to it. Um How come I couldn't kill that guy? What's up? Anyway, I'm playing Session Destroyer, but I'm I'm playing less team deathmatch, silly me. Um Just gonna run around. I don't know. I've already run out of Steam that I was gonna talk about. Basically I'm just gonna I just wanted to update you guys and just play a bit of Call of Duty basically, you know. So basically, yeah, like I said, three videos a week. You know, we're gonna have some fun. It's gonna be fun, 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 fun. Sorry, th that song's in my head. You know how like if you look at all the interviews, you just look at my how they're just trying to get that song in people's heads. Did I actually just get ninja? I thought I almost got ninja, I was getting scared. <laughs> that would have been emotional. But yeah, we've lost basically. Have we lost yet? Exactly. Um, I failed, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, you know that song, Friday. Everyone's talking about obviously and stuff, you know. And they're talking about how it's gonna get in people's heads and sadly it has. But like not in a positive way at least. Like, you know, people just want to like the CEO of the company, the guy you actually you've seen rapping in the vid, I, I saw some interview, I did a lot I did a lot of research on this on this song, you know. And then yeah, the CEO was talking about how he just wants to make a super catchy song and it is super catchy. It's just really um, like annoyingly super catchy, you know. Which is just, it's like I, I, it's one of those songs that you just won't like, basically. And it's the whole thing like it's annoying. It's that that's the whole thing. It's like it's that whole like I don't know really crappy pop thing. But it's not even like like catchy, you know, kind of like up tempo with rhyming. It's like Friday has nothing in it. There's there's nothing to that song. I don't understand. Like I. Ah, <laughs> it's just an atrocity to even 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 to crappy pop music of the of like the eighties and nineties. It's an atrocity to you. I mean, that that had some emotion. That had a bit of feel. This is just out for the sole purpose of making money and getting famous. Like the sole purpose, and not even not even trying to put some heart into it. I mean, it's it's just disgusting, and it kind of shows that like, people who downloaded this song. I'm like, seriously, <laughs> like. I don't even I don't even like pay for like generally good music sometimes. So why would the duck would I want to pay for this? You know, but whatever. To each his own. Your people are, people are entitled to their opinion. If they like Friday, then you know whatever. You know, if they belong to that insane asylum. They're gonna get inducted into anyway. It's just I don't know. The fact that I'm even talking about it right now shows how how much this one girl's got into our heads. You know, which is quite sad, really. It's like that whole thing. Um, you might not have heard of it if you're watching this video, but you probably might have. Um, OG Nikki, um, spit your game. You, you must have probably heard about it. Definitely, you probably you probably heard about it, spit your game. Um, about how she's talking about our uh, six man. Nikki's on this. Nikki's on that. Da da da. You know all, all that stuff. And then, seriously, that is absolute crap. You, you just stuck me. That was absolute luck. Wow. You might yeah, like I was saying. Um, might have heard about it, you know, Nikki's on this, Nikki's on that, and talking about how she's with six people, six men, and then all that stuff. And it's like, it's that whole thing, like, and the thing she did at the end, she's like, and I don't want fame. And clearly, it's, she's doing a publicity stunt, and it's like, seriously. But then again, it's that whole reverse psychology thing, like, if you say, I don't want fame, you'll naturally get fame anyway. If you're already making a video about, you know, your, your sexual encounters with a mul the multitude of, of the... <laughs> Oh, of the male society I mean like seriously she made a video about how she did this and the interesting thing that like if you if you flip the concept if if it was a boy would it be a little less offensive to people if it was like a boy talking about how he had six girls at once would it be a bit less offensive I think so actually and that's pretty sad but then again it's that whole thing you know like um like OG people like OG Nikki's almost like the 
the I don't know the less wanted byproduct of like the work of the suffragettes and Coco Chanel and all those people of the 1920s who fought for women's freedom and stuff like that it's like a negative byproduct but it's that whole thing like in the 20s they had that whole thing where they they were trying to be equal to to men so they would obviously try to act exactly like men they, they'll, they'll sleep they'll, they'll sleep transiently with with other men and stuff like that which, which is just like what men would do obviously at that time so I suppose it's like that whole thing you know women's freedom kind of reflects to that so I'm not blaming I'm definitely not blaming that like, suffragettes and like all, all, the, all the women that fought that campaign for emancipation in the 20s and, and onward from there it's just like whole thing with every good with every thing good there, there's like a bad byproduct I'm getting raped <laughs> it's like a bad byproduct in the way it's that whole thing like e either way though when you think about it whether it was a man or a woman talking about um like, the, like what they actually did you know like while wow, they're you know talking about their entire game there, there's actually yeah like it's that whole thing spit your game it's like the whole concept of spit your game is kind of not really appropriate anyway for like a man or a woman it's that whole thing like i don't know like you, you can tell who's like a good rapper and he's a he's like a crap rapper from what they resort to in their in lyrics often but some people will just joke about and talk about their the multitude of sexual encounters and like if you say like Elro Elro like he talks about how he he I know he never gets he never gets pussy but and then at the end of every video he says he's gonna go get some and it's like that's silly <laughs> you know <laughs> but you know like it's of course he seems like more the jokey type but like there's all people who have this who acquire this notion that they are some kind of <laughs> sex god or something like that and it's like dude seriously and that it's boys and girls you know and it's the whole thing with OG Nikki she kind of in a way she kind of brought it out you know she brought out this whole thing of like you know like the woman can do this too woman can do this too it's like when you think about it, it is quite like really quite relevant to what men would do like 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 for, for years now like uh, men have been talking basically spitting their game you know in a multitude of ways obviously and like you see in, in all these like, like i don't know cliche hip-hop vids i'm not saying all hip-hop videos because there's there's obviously some that like, to every genre i'd say there's like some good and bad and i failed what was i doing <laughs> yeah to every genre there's, there's some good and some bad but in a cliche hip-hop video you have all the hip-hop honeys and all that stuff and stuff so like imagine that they're around where you have a female and then you have all the males i mean it's it's that whole concept where it's almost like society sees that as like either wrong or more wrong than if it was the other way around like if it was just men with the hip-hop honeys and it's an interesting thing like if i know it's like it's quite radical now but say like say in like 50 years or so you know it was just it was just normal for boys and girls to spit their game as much as each other would it's just like which which relates back to that whole 20s thing where firstly it was like seeing this radical for women to like you know show their limbs and all that stuff and then nowadays it's like it's cash you know it's the whole thing see for example it's just like i was saying about Re rebecca black I, i'm talking about og nikki i had like a five minute conversation about og nikki and she said she don't want fame and the thing is like it's like another guy what infector said you might not have heard of him too he's he's more of a uk guy like he said oh i don't want fame but she got fame and he's like he rates her because he played us basically he's like oh he played you lot because he he kind of did you know it's that whole thing she just she, she just came on she showed up she spat her game told, she, she, did, she didn't even have to tell the truth that's the thing she could have just said anything and because it was so radical to us she gets famous you know apparently she's quite known around the world now and like she, her video on spit your games like i think either the most watched or the second most watched and it's the whole thing you know rebecca black's friday is like one of the most watched videos as well on youtube now as well top five or something like that and it's like we're well, giving these people fame you know that whole thing don't feed the troll if you don't feed the troll you know he will drown and he will die and and he'll you know so that's my lesson for today don't feed the troll you know it's just it's so annoying like how people they they put all the effort in to try and get fame and all that stuff and then nothing happens and then like other times they would i don't know they do one little publicity stunt and then it's like look i'm famous but it's like that 15 minutes of fame type famous so i suppose it's at least a trade-off anyway no one's gonna remember rebecca black's name in the next year 
because she's not gonna release another song anyway she has to pay that guy another two two million dollars two thousand dollars not two million you know which is pretty money grabbing you know for a guy i mean anyone can make their own song anyone can recreate friday with like about 300 pounds worth of software so <laughs> you know just say but anyway i've gone way over time so <laughs> i like to thank you for watching this vid and good night